All right, this is uh, Thunder with ThalidiumLabs.com, where today we're going to do a Graylin challenge with uh, Allison, who's up in the wonderful country of Canada in the area of uh, British Columbia. I'm going to have uh, Doug, our Texas mobile unit, walk us through. Doug, take it away. All right, thank you, Thunder. Hello, Allison. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks, Doug. Good, good. What type of car are we testing? We're testing a Mercedes. A Mercedes? Okay. Now, is your is your car running? Yes, it is. Okay. I, I need for you to check your RPM. First thing I want you to okay. do is sit in your car and look at your RPM gauge and give me the number that it's reading. Okay. Currently, it's like 10. Okay. So it's running about 1,000. Okay. Now walk to the back of your car and just get a smell of the re of your exhaust and record that to your memory. Just get you a quick smell so you can understand what you're trying to uh, to recognize here. Okay, it's an unpleasant odor. Very unpleasant odor. Fantastic. So now what I need you to do, Alice, is to open that image up on your phone and hold it okay. toward your car. Okay, so hang on here. Okay, so the moment that you pull that image up, we're going to lose video. So you take your phone and hold it towards your gas tank, okay? And you can continue to talk because we can hear you, but we won't have video. Okay. All right. So okay, so I'm now holding up. it. Okay. I'm holding it yep. up to my gas tank. Fantastic. So we're just going to hold it there for about two minutes. And what we're doing is, is the frequencies that are on the, that the uh, image that's on your phone is creating an inert environment for the toxins that are in your fuel. So look at it like this. If Superman has kryptonite hanging around his neck, he has no strength but he's still Superman. That's the basic concept is when you look at how the frequencies create that inert environment for the toxins in your fuel. So we're gonna hold that image there for about two minutes. So after this two minutes have elapsed, what I want you to do is get in your car and put your RPMs up to about 2,000 RPMs for two minutes, okay? Okay, perfect. All right, so you can go ahead and get in your car and take your RPMs up to about two minutes. You should be able to bring your video back up now. Have we done two minutes already? Uh, that fuel tank, your fuel tank has been charged. So what we want to do now is to move the, move the old fuel. Yeah, well, it, do, it, do, it really don't take long. Um, I've seen this technology work in probably 30 seconds. Cool. Okay, do you see now? No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, your, your video okay. hasn't come back yet. It hasn't come on. Okay, so it okay. says to hear others, join audio, uh, join audio, da, 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 dial in. I'll just say dial in. No, you already dialed in on the on your phone. You want to go back and start your video, just like if you was coming back on for the first time. There okay, you go. It, just, it just prompted me for the host. There you go. Okay, now what I want you to do is to get in your car, and I want you to take your accelerator up to 2,000 RPMs for two minutes. Okay. Hold it. Hold it nice and steady for me. Can you see that? Uh, no, ma'am. Your, uh, your uh -huh. video is on, on your uh, phone. Please. There we go. There we go. OK, so here you go. There you go. OK. Just hold it, hold it there for two minutes, and we're going to move that fuel from your fuel tank through your lines 
and this is what his process is going to take place. So we're purging out all the old fuel, and now we have charged fuel in your tank. What year is your Mercedes? 2003. How many miles on it? 142,000 kilometers. Okay. So that would be 60 something. That's not oh, bad 60, for 2000. That's low mileage for 2003. Say what? That's low mileage for 2003. No kidding. I I hardly drive. Well, we're going to change your whole. Here. We're going to change your whole yeah. attitude and environment today. Uh, good. Okay. What I want you to do now, I want you to just push it to the floor, floor three times, real quick. Just push your accelerator to the floor, let your foot off of it. There you go. Three good times. All right, now let, let's see where your RPMs are. Okay, below a thousand. Can you see? No, your How video went out. Your video went out. Okay. Let's walk. Okay, turn. Let's let's see. Let me see your uh, RPM gauge. Can you put your phone a little closer? A little closer. A little. Oh, fantastic. We, we're running about 650 from about 1,000. So, um, yep, it's we, down. We, we, right, so we dropped significantly there. So let's walk to the back of the vehicle and let's get a smell of the exhaust. Much better. Just a faint smell. Okay, let's get, like, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to push some fuel through your line. So let's just hit your accelerator twice. You're going to hit it to the floor twice. Okay. Have you got camera now? Yes, ma'am. I can see you. Okay. All right. Now let's take another smell. Okay. And that RPM still down. Yes, ma'am, and it's going to it's going to stay down. There's really no smell, not significant at all. Fantastic. That is our goal: is to eliminate the pollution that is actually coming from your vehicle. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm excited. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm very pleased. That's lovely. Very well good. Done. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for being a part of Palladium Lab uh, Challenge. Um, welcome to the quantum world, Allison. Thank All right, you very this, much. It's been a pleasure. This is uh, now this I is can get my pristine environment beautiful. Wow, you thank actually you. do live in a beautiful, beautiful place there. Uh, yeah, what a, what a pretty view. We got to keep it pretty and uh, take away all of, all of the uh, pollution in our skies. Uh, Allison, we just did this via via uh, text message to your your cell phone device. Uh, that's what we did. we didn't put anything on on your uh, vehicle. You didn't install anything. We didn't add anything inside your gas tank. Okay, what we did is we changed the energy field around your cell phone that caused your car to stop polluting. Wow, it's truly amazing. You know, it's just lovely. Allison, it's a tell, great the world, to know. tell the world, Allison, what you are an authority on, if you would. Well, I am a longevity rescuer. I keep people young and healthy. I'm an authority on electromagnetic fields as well as superfoods and just keeping young, hale, hearty, and fit. My goodness, Doug. Wow, look at this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, well, you just saw, we just took pollution out of a combustion engine. Can you imagine what we can do to the human body with energy, with 
uh, relieving toxin. With I mean, This is gasoline we just stopped, all right? Uh, inside our body, we can break down all of this toxin and have it removed easily without um, the risk of, you know, that, that detox process that uh, could, you know, damages a lot of people, uh, if not mm -hmm. done correctly. Uh, we we want to talk to you more about uh, cell phone radiation here soon. Allison, we're going to send you out a 10-pack of our anti-smogs uh, worth about $2,500. Give them out to uh, nine neighbors out there and keep that beautiful place clean for me, would you? Oh, you bet. Thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. What a, what a, great, uh, what a great challenge. Hey, until next time, this is Thunder at Halidium Labs.